let's add some lights. Let's first let's call this group Sun. Now let's add some lights to our scene. So let's select our new light. And as you can see, when we do that, we'll give us a light right here. So let's bring it over here to the side of the sun and bring it up like this. Let's bring the intensity up. Now let's start playing with our fall off. It'll make it shaded on one side of the earth. Like so. You could also, if you wanted to, you could try the spotlight and you could adjust the cone angle and the soft edge. And that'll make it a little more dark on one edge, on one side. So now let's add another light. Let's get it kind of real close in here. Let's adjust our fall off. And our intensity it gives us this little blue ping sort of right here Let's select our light again our second light now this just takes a little bit of tweaking you know it's really up to you. So now we have that little ping. So now let's add one more lot, a third lot, and let's bring it over here to about the other same position as the other one, as our first one. Let's bring the hmm. Let's turn it back into a uh, spotlight. We'll take the cone angle down a little bit like this. We're going to change this spot this lights color to orange let's bring the intensity up soft edge and let's adjust it here to where it looks like we're getting a little glow on the earth and the sun like so you can try point light if you're not liking what that's giving you so now you can see what we got here let's adjust our fall off and our cone angle and stuff now that kinda looks like the sun's poking up over there and we got our little ping here and we can adjust some more lights our other lights a little bit more now we have our Sun there let's go back into our star field turn it down select our blur let's up the scale a little bit to about 500 and something and we'll select our star field and let me position it here. Now we have our blue there. Let's bring it back in a little bit. Bring the scale back down. With properties. You can bring it down like so. Before we're just getting a little bit of blue on that one side. If you want to, you can even turn your emitter to 3D. And that'll kind of help the way things look. So let's go back into our Blur 08, turn down our scale some more. And do our last few little adjustments here. Now we have our blue aura, we have our sun, and we have our earth, and when we play it, our earth is slowly spinning. We got some stars, which you can go in, of course, 
and adjust the scale on your stars and your speed of your stars and your birth rate of your stars and the initial number of the stars so let's turn the scale down a little it gives us a few more stars let's go to our properties nothing there and let's turn down our opacity of our overall star field like so okay I'm thinking that that's looking pretty good turn down the scale of our stars their, their cells a little bit it's a little bit too much there we go that looks pretty good now when I play this our stars are there we have our our moon and we have our earth and we have our little glow now if you wanted to you could go in and add some clouds and stuff I didn't build this project for the clouds um, if I add some clouds let me show you you can see what happens here because I didn't build my project for this so what would be best would be to lay it down here like this go to inspector properties turn the opacity down like so add a filter to it color correction colorize let's make it like a purplish blue like that right there We'll bring it up a little bit now we have our little purple clouds we can make a mask so let's go to our square mask and we'll make a mask like this oh that's a shape it's a square shape we want the square mask so we'll make a mask like this and we'll select our rectangle mask and we will feather it out feather it back some like so now you can see that it don't look like it's quite as cut off straight not quite as straight a line so now we can go back to our clouds and adjust our opacity back up a little bit now we have this purple mist we have our earth we have our sun we have our lights we have our stars and when it plays everything works good together works like a charm and it looks pretty good if you ask me to be all done in motion See, you don't need After Effects for stuff like this. For stuff like this, guys, even though After Effects can do a lot of things, for simple stuff like this, don't let people fool you. You can do it all in motion. So I hope you've learned something, guys, and we'll see you next time.